I've heard a lot of people say on YouTube and Facebook in recent days that broccoli has more protein in it than a piece of steak. So today in this video, I want to answer that question. If you want the short answer to get through this video quickly, I'll give you the answer in one word, maybe two words, absolutely not. But stick around for a few more minutes and I will explain to you the difference between these two foods. So we asked the question first up, does good old broccoli have any protein in it at all? The answer is yes. For every 100 grams of broccoli, there is about 2.8 grams of protein. So it does have some protein in it. But a piece of steak such as this I fill it here has 26 to 30 grams of protein per 100 grams of weight. So you can see right at the outset, there is absolutely no comparison between the two. Yes, broccoli has protein, but it's only a smidgen when compared to steak. So where do the people advocating broccoli get the information to make their claim that it's a richer source of protein than steak? Well, it's simply this, that they measure by calorie and not by weight. So they say that for every calorie of broccoli compared to a calorie of steak, then the broccoli wins hands down. And that is technically true, but it's an unfair comparison. It's a bit like saying a bicycle is faster than a car so long as the car has no petrol in it. You see, it just doesn't add up in the longer run when you look at it. You see, to match the protein in a single piece of steak, you would have to eat more than two kilos of broccoli. And I don't think anybody here is seriously advocating that you eat two kilos of broccoli in one go, as nice as broccoli may be for some people. But let's say for argument's sake, you can. Let's just say, you know, for the sake of this illustration, that you could eat two kilos of broccoli compared to a piece of steak. Well, you might get your protein, but you would be missing out on a whole lot of other things. You see, what steak is going to give you is bioavailable protein. That is protein that is immediately available to your body. It's the protein that your bones and your muscles and your immune system actually need. And even if you could eat all that broccoli, to get the protein, you'd be missing out on the amino acids that are found in the steak. But not just amino acids. You know what else is in here that is not in here? Let me just make you a short list. Vitamin B12 is found here, but not here. Uh, iron found here, but not here. Uh, zinc found here, but not here. Uh, creatine found here, but not here. And so the list goes on. Not to mention that we have all this healthy fat that you can see in the piece of steak that is not going to be found here. Not much fat in a piece of broccoli. And fats are just so essential. We've been told all our lives that fats are bad, but they're not. They're absolutely needed by the body. And without fat, your body will die. We need fat. And fat is delicious and it's nutritious. And it's found in every piece of meat that you eat. So let me kind of wrap this up. Does this have protein? Yes, but not nearly the amount of protein that you're going to have in here. And if you're eating that for your protein, you're going to miss out on all the essential vitamins that I've just mentioned and the nutrients that are in this piece of meat that are not in the broccoli. So the meat wins hands down. And I've decided, despite what the plant-based people are telling me about broccoli, I'm going to stay carnivore. If you do choose to eat the broccoli, as well you may, for various reasons, if you do that, make sure you're having some of this as well, or you're going to be missing out on things that your body really needs. I would like to invite you to become a member of this channel. Members uh, receive special member-only videos and they get everything on my website. I've got a whole lot of resources there, but they're for sale. But members of the channel only pay three Aussie bucks a month and they get all of the resources on my website absolutely free. So check that out. Press the join button down below to have a look at that. 
I made a video back a little bit on the topic of avocados because that's another question that comes up all the time with people uh, beginning the carnivore diet. They want to know can they still have some avocado. So I made a video looking at the pros and cons of avocados on the carnivore diet and uh, if you missed that video I'll leave a link to it up here. But look, thanks for watching today. Please join my uh, Facebook group, The Carnival Pensioner, and subscribe to the channel. Think about membership. I will see you on the next video. And until then, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay peaceful. And God bless you.